Yo, we're going to look at the relationships between factors and products and using the base 10 system to determine uh, uh, products uh, or a missing factor. And the problem that's displayed here, 5 times 0.8. We want to, when we multiply, just look at the whole numbers and not think about the decimal uh, until the end, and then we'll find that relationship. So 5 times 8, and that's how I'm going to look at it in this problem. 5 times 8 will be 40, which is 4 tens and 0 ones. But it's not really 5 times 8. And let me just mark off here on the side 5 times 8 equals 40. It's not really 5 times 8, though. It's 5 times 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is like 10 times smaller than 8. 8, we could imagine, is like 8.0. And so when we bring that decimal in front of it, we're making it 10 times smaller. It's like 8 divided by 10. So whatever we do to one side, we must do to the rest. If we're making one of our factors 10 times smaller, well, then our product will also have to be 10 times smaller. So when I take a look at that and I have 5 times 8, when I'm shifting it to 5 times 0.8, our answer, our product is going to be 10 times smaller. The factor is 10 times smaller, the product will be 10 times smaller. So the answer is in fact 4.0 or just 4 rather than 40. This line of thinking also applies when we're missing one of the factors. For instance, in the following problem, 5 times what is 0.35. Remember, we want to first just think about it in terms of whole numbers. I know that 5 times some number uh, will be equal to 35. That's how I want to think about it. And then I want to get back into the decimal at the end. So I'm going to use that math fact that I know. I know that 5 times 7 equals 35. So now I have all the digits correct. So I'm just going to represent that 35 in my place value chart. The problem is that I want my product or my answer to equal 0.35. Right now, 5 times 7 is 35. If I want to get to 0.35, I'm going to have to shift each digit two times to the right or divide by 10 two times. Divide by 10 to the second power, that's like dividing by 100. You can see I, I took these digits and I shifted them each two times. And every time I shift to the right, it's like dividing by 10. So I needed to actually divide by 100. When I'm taking, if I need my quotient, or I'm sorry, my product to be 100 times smaller, that means, and I can't change this 5, I'm going to need to make that 7 100 times smaller or shift it, and you can see how I'm shifting it two times. So I'm going to get, when I shift this, divide by 10 once, it will be 0.7. Divide by 10 two times, it will be 0 0.07. So 5 times 0 0.07 will be equal to 0.35, just using that base 10 system. And, and we can think about it as the same thing again as the previous problem. 5 times 7 is 35, um, but it's 5 times 0 0.07. That's 100 times smaller. Therefore, my product will be 100 times smaller. So if I, whatever, I, whatever happens to one side must also happen to the other. Let's go ahead and practice one more. And for this problem, I'm going to put the uh, problem up here. I want you to pause the video. And let's see if you can figure it out on your own. When you're ready, press play. What I'm going to think about when I find this is looking at 8 times what is equal to 72. 
I know the math fact, 8 times 9 equals 72, but we have a couple different things happening in this problem. For one, it's actually 0.8. So 0.8 times 9, if I make this factor 10 times smaller, my quotient or my product, I'm sorry, will also be 10 times smaller. So I'm actually starting at 7.2 already. So if I make this 10 times smaller, whatever happens to one side is going to happen to the other. So right now, I'm at 0.8 times 9. Excuse that line right there. 0.8 times 9 equals 7.2. What needs to happen here to get this to be 0 0.0072? Well, for that to happen, that means the 7 is going to need to wind up in the hundredth place. You can see, I'm, I'm sorry, not the hundredth place. I'm shifting it three places, but um, it's going to need to wind up in the thousandths place. We can see right here, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. That 7 is in the thousandths place. So to do that, I'm going to need to divide it by 10 once, twice, three times, once, twice, three times. So if I want my product to be 0 0.0072, I'm going to need to divide, um, I'm going to need to divide, make that nine, I'm going to need to make it, uh, divide it by 10 to the third power or multiply it by 10 to the negative three power. So the it's going to wind up being, when I divide it by 10 once, 0.9, 0 0.09, 0 0 0.009. And that one was a little bit harder because I was starting with 0 0.8. Those same concepts apply. Go ahead and practice this with some of the problems uh, on the test review or make your own and check them with a calculator.